What's up guys, I'm Matt Cole Michaels out here and we got a pretty cool video for you guys today. We're gonna show y'all something that's pretty interesting so you guys come take a look. Let's go, come on. Buy a tool box and get a thousand dollars. Three tools. Dollars. That's right. Man, that's nice. A thousand bucks and a new tool box. Yeah, I had a guy the other day ask me if he got to pick the tools out. I said, Yeah, I'm not gonna pick them out. Uh, I'll guide him. You know, yeah. I, don't don't spend your thousand dollars on an impact and a you know a ratchet. Well, let's get some more. Let's get more bang for our buck, but. If that's what you need, if it's, you true. need an impact and a ratchet, we'll get an impact and a ratchet. But I'll be like, I want that uh, long neck kit and the impacts. What I want. There you go. <laughs> Whatever you want. That's all that matters. Yep. There's one of them little fellas right there. Y'all can see what one looks like. It ain't beat up, banged up, and demolished. <laughs> of course, it's the ugliest color in the whole well, country. You know. Well. There you go, see what it looks like. All my protective rubber is gone. gone off mine. Look how thin that thing is. Mine's been used by a hammer, as a hammer too, like half the holes in the back's been busted out. Well, the guy that uh, that had it before you is about the roughest person ever on tools. Is he works on Wally? <laughs> Yeah, he's wow. worse than Wally. Um, you want to put that back in the bag? Yeah, I will. This guy, I mean, tiny. He he's something else, man. He uh, oof. I know he got on the truck two or three weeks after he traded it in, and I was like, man, you still got your impact? No. Went into a long story about how the one that he traded it for is done dead and everything else, and how he wishes he had it back. And, uh, I was like, I bet you don't even know where it is, do you? He said, nope. I said, I don't either. <laughs> I'm proud to get that impact. I like it. Hey, man. Yeah, I don't know how that was in that bag. Well, somebody was asking about those magnetic panels because I brag on mine being on the side of that lift all the time. Yeah, those are nice. And that's uh, what they look like. And there is the part number. MTS 12X6. We got a bigger one too. Um, I think uh, I think I've sold it, but it's uh, it's like two of those put together side by yeah. side. It's a 12 by 12, I think. Uh, yeah, it's a 12 by 12. And there, do you have the, do you know the part number on this tray that's got the magnets on each end? Uh, yeah, hold I on. I get that question a lot, too, because yeah, that's the, a freaking awesome little dude. Those are some good trains. Love them. Yep. Good ones. It's uh, MST 22O for the orange and 22G for the green. Now, those have been on back order for a pretty good long while. The green one's still not come in. I, I just got my orange one in that I ordered back in February. Um, and I know one of the guys at the meetup was waiting on one that he had ordered too. Yeah. So uh, He got his in. He sent me a picture of it. And then, man, I tell you what, I love those trays. They work really So really yeah, good. they, um, they're great trays, but they were keeping up with supply and demand. Then we did a video on them and I don't. Oops. I think half the country ordered one. That's good. So you They're know, great. It's, and and right now with times being like they are, we're fighting back order like crazy. Mm -hmm. uh, everybody is. I talked to a Snap-on guy yesterday. He said he can't hardly get nothing. Uh, I talked to a. Actually, I had a Cornwell dealer that was on vacation, just happened to pass by, and he stopped to talk to me and said that he's having a hard time getting stuff. So, I guess everybody. I guess right now, if you're in a tool business, you're having a hard time getting stuff. I guess that's part of it. Well, these have done extremely well. I have seen a lot of people. I have got a lot of pictures 
of this ratchet on different toolboxes and stuff. I'm proud Metco did that. But speaking of ratchets, everybody, um, you know, Gear Wrench has come out with a lock and flex head. Mm -hmm. And it's not USA made, it's made in Taiwan. But everybody's saying that it's the same as Gear Wrench, I mean, uh, the Metco ratchet. And I said, no, it's not, because the first time I picked it up, I noticed the switch on the lock was yep. backwards. And the way the lock's made is different. So, since you deal with them every day, I want you to look at one, and that way, because I plan on doing a video um, showing the differences in it, but yeah, since you handle Matco ratchets more than anybody else, that way you can look at it with your first yeah. look and see what you think. So first look, like you said, switch is backwards. Ours is locked on the other direction. Theirs is locked on this direction. No, not a big deal. But one of the main things that I noticed already is it's in between ours. Mm -hmm. So if they were gonna use the exact same, if it was the exact same ratchet, it would have either the exact same here to here or the exact same here to here. That's right. They're not gonna make one exactly the same with a different. Also, your handles are gonna be different. Mm -hmm. If you look, that handle's a lot smaller. Which in theory, you first think, well, that's probably, that, that could be better. I don't like it better, it's, it's too right. small. I don't, they do the flat part here to try to give you a grip, but I don't know, just the way our handles fit there. So the two main differences, or three main differences so far, lock, here to here, and here. Now you're also gonna have the length of the head there. If y'all look, the head is actually longer from here to here. Yep. So that's different. So we'll break it on down to the inside. See, I've had a ton of comments, people saying that Matco is rebranding the gear wrench. I said, that is definitely yeah, not there, right. Yeah, there's like, no way. You can tell, like, let me show you something else too. Unlock that ratchet and then flex it. Yeah, I want to lock both. So we'll start with this one. And then, I mean, it's just, I don't know. I know yeah, you can you hear can it. You can hear it's got a. It's, you can really feel it. But so. you can really feel it, like the uh, the teeth. It says it's ninety tooth. I've heard that's not true. I don't know. I haven't. I haven't counted mm -hmm. each tooth. But I will say this. I know that the that some of the components in this will fit in our ratchet. Yeah. Just because it'll fit in there does not make it the same ratchet. Yeah. So if it's if it's if it's a different handle, it's a different shaft, it's a different head length. It's different internals. How is it still a micro ratchet? Mm -hmm. How is well, it I mean, as soon, before I ever used it, as soon as I picked it up, I looked and I said, well, it's unlocked because I seen which yeah. the switch was and it wouldn't flex. And I was like, okay, that was like right off the gate, straight out of the box. That's what I noticed. And then um, when I started messing with it, I seen some other things, but you're more than welcome to pull that snap ring off there if you want to look at the guts out well, of the show. We can show the guts on them. I know that they'll fit in there. I've had customers tell me that. I don't, it, I, I, a Chevrolet motor will fit in a Ford too, but that don't mean Chevrolet is the same as a Ford. Right. Well, see, this is what I will say. Like, there's no doubt. Actually, this exact ratchet here is my favorite ratchet ever built, ever. But if I got, don't have a tool truck, this is a great alternative because the locking yeah. mechanism is still better, in my opinion, than any other locking mechanism. So we'll get to do surgery on one and that way you guys can see the differences of them. I've never had the gear wrench apart. I've heard they work, so we're gonna see together so right off the bat you can tell that the uh, it's even a different o-ring so I know somebody's like oh an o-ring what's that matter well if they're using the same kit why would the o-ring be different right you know we're getting compared to this exact same ratchet so let's see what exactly is exactly the same about it the bottom of theirs is gonna have a hole in it I don't know what the holes for uh, but no hole, so that's not exciting. And plus, they're claiming this is 90 and this is 88, so right. two different things. It's the same width, and there, but well, it's just a t theirs is just a tiny bit bigger. So maybe it is a 90 tooth. I don't know. I haven't counted them. What does but, the paw look like? Are they close? Uh, oh, yours is wider, I think. 
Yeah, it looks like ours is going to be a little wider, and then you can tell the indentions are different as well. See, that one has two marks on top. This one has two circles there. That one has none. So the pawl is even different. Hmm. So that's manufactured different. So the pawls ain't the same. So the gear's not the same. The pawl's not the same. O-ring's not the same. And then on their shift me uh, mechanism there, it looks like it's actually different as well. That may be the only thing it looks close is the spring. Whoop, nope, there's a difference there. See, they actually have one in front and one in the back. I don't know what the one in the back's really for, but ours is not gonna have that. So that means the, the back of the select uh, the selector is gonna have a hole as well. Well, I think it's gonna have a hole, we'll look and see. No, it doesn't, it doesn't have a hole. But it has it has a uh, has a spot to push that to it. I don't, I don't really know. We'll compare these as well. Like I said, these may be the only thing that resemble any. Now that there, I can say is probably the same. Our spring is just a little bit longer, and ours may be just a little bit. I don't know. Ours may be a little bigger. Maybe not. I can't tell. It is like it's more. It's a little. Yeah, it looks a little bit. Longer. Just a little bit longer. A little bit, you know, beefier. So, so we'll say that that's not the same. If we want to say something the same, we can, or we can say it ain't either way. It don't matter to me. But yeah, that's gonna have another spring in the back. I got my ratchets confused. Then when we take ours out. All right. I didn't throw that down because it was gear wrench. I dropped it. All right. If you look there, ours is kind of a round, just an indention there. Theirs has got a little bit more of a Cut solid. It's like a yeah. straight edge here, and then it's kind of rounded into it. So that's not the same either. Uh, they kind of resemble each other besides the fact that ours comes to a a point in the back of it and that one's rounded so mm -hmm. you can't even say that's the same so it may just be because i'm a tool dealer and i sell maco but these ratchets are nothing the same they're not alike uh they're not the same ratchet they're not it can't be rebranded because a this is uh different lengths on everything everything really different besides that piece there i mean i ain't gonna take a mic out and mic it right. If it's close enough in your eyes that that's the same, that's the same. That's fine. But in my eyes, this one looks a little different. But again, everything about the two. To well, me, I still just, stick to my original statement. This is the best ratchet made. And I think if a guy don't have a tool dealer, this is going to be the closest, oh, next yeah, best what, alternative. I'm not, if you're owning you this get. ratchet right now, don't think I'm telling you that it's right. a bad ratchet. I'm not saying that. I've never used this ratchet. Mm -hmm. It's just, I, I mean, I've heard the same thing. Well, this is the same ratchet. No, it's, it's not. Yeah. I've never had my hands on one. I've never got to do that. That's pretty cool. Uh, but I think, you know, I still think Matco's the better ratchet, but for a non-tool truck guy, or maybe a guy that even wants to buy a budget second ratchet or whatever, I think that's a great alternative because the locking mechanism still similar to the same design and i think that's what sets the biggest portion of it apart you know yeah well and i and i've heard several times you know well i've got gear wrench components in that ratchet well that don't make it right yeah i mean but i, I don't know that i would even do that now looking at all the differences mm -hmm. but it's definitely different Bill? Yes. Sir. He's got a blue ratchet. So, Bill, what's your opinion? Same ratchet, different? Say so it's different. You pointed it out on the video. What did you say before we come on the truck, Bill? About your ratchet. I like the back of the ratchet. 
I think his exact words was, I wish I hadn't I got rid of my other Matco ratchet, wasn't it? Pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's got a blue one right there. Yep. Shoulder. And some green and orange and red. So, you'll be good to go, Bill. And I know I said I'll, I may get one later on down the road, and I will one day. I want to get my bill paid down before I add anything to it. Get that bill paid Self down. Self-control, right? That's I right. see it. Self-control. Bill, you may be the only person this week that on this truck with self-control. Yep. So while we're on the, the talk of ratchets, uh, I don't have one in hand right now. Well, like I said, with everything going on right now, I, and I didn't order just a whole lot this week because I knew today's going to be almost dead. Like, there's going to be a few shops open, and that's about it. Mm. And then I've got shops that's off next week. I've got some that took off this week, some that took off next week, and some that did both. So, uh, I didn't want a high, a high tool bill with... No customers. Yeah, no customers. I mean, that Makes didn't... Makes sense. But, that's uh, self-control, too. What I, did, what I did catch wind of, and I haven't seen it... You may get to see it before I do, if you're out there in, in this Maco universe. I have heard that they have shipped me a black quarter inch ratchet, which everybody's been asking for. Since we got the black ratchets there, they want a black quarter inch ratchet. So I haven't seen it, and I hope to, I'm gonna look it up here in just a second, see if we can get a picture of it. Way we can put the mist to, to sleep, but somebody always calls me. Well, have you heard if they're going to add blue as a permanent color? I haven't heard yet, but I, I think that it would be crazy not to. At this point, they've went this far. I don't see them turning around. Like, there was... Because they need to make it in this length now. Yeah, well, I would like them to, when they do it, if they're going to stair-step it, go to that next, and then go to the quarter inch. I agree. Then I'd do like half have, inch, but... Uh, I'd like to have both of those. I don't want I don't want them to jump straight to the qu the quarter because that one's still a little long for people. Mm. I mean they like it. I had I had distributors in my district that sold twenty and thirty of those ratchets within a week. I mean, come on, that's <laughs> strong, ain't it? That, that's that's what yeah. people already have in ratchets. Like, well, I believe the ratchet that you that you have in your hand right there. That is the perfect length ratchet. Yeah, right. I've said it multiple times. It's my favorite that ratchet. That is a great ratchet. I own a green one. I had to be like Bill, I wanted to do green. No, I'm just playing. <laughs> uh, I had a green one before, so I went back with green. But the green uh, ratchet, same length, my favorite. Yeah. Uh, I now have the quarter inch green one, same way because I lost my other quarter inch ratchet. Uh, to me, on it, that's the perfect length for a yep. quarter inch ratchet. I, I know they make these here. That's mm -hmm. too short for me, plus an eight flex head. And then these here are too long to me. Yep. I don't, and that one right there, I just can't. I Which, sell a bunch of them. This ratchet, mine's green though. That ratchet and that ratchet yeah. are my two favorite. That's me. Let me look up that picture. Now, my half inch ratchet is this big, long 30 inch one. Yeah. Oh, on oh, half inch, if you're pulling it out, I we gotta go up. I don't think you 30 should be this one here. This one should be the longest one on the truck. Yeah. Yeah. These right here. Yeah, now, if we're doing half one, inch, let's, let's go all the way. That's the way I do. Because yeah. if, if I'm stepping up the half inch, I'm putting some torque on it. Yep. I mean, I, I don't care if I'm doing an alignment on a Tundra or and I've if- I've pulled on these before and them bad boys, I'm talking about flex, and I'm like, well, here goes the gears. Keeps yeah, it, uh, I have a truck shop that when I walk in and they're bowing that thing, I'm like, all right, I'm just to rebuild it. And I go out to the, I, the first time I ever saw it, I went out to the truck, I got a repair kit, had it sitting here, they come out on the truck, I'm like, did you bring your ratchet? No. It didn't mess up? No. Let's go get it. Pull, I took it apart flex. to make sure that it didn't snap the paw. Yeah. Nothing. I said, okay. I know mine. I've had it flex, and I'm talking about like bad. I'm like, yeah, these teeth is fixing to go. And but, uh, she's hanging in there. That's not necessarily a bad thing. I mean, yep. there's some bolts that they are on extremely tight. That's something new right there, isn't it? That creeper. Yeah, that's new to the truck. Um, First time I've seen that. 
pretty nice. It's a little different than most of them. I mean, it's just a, a, a pad, but um, I like that because they actually show you on like grass and stuff. How many times mm -hmm. have you went out in a gravel? Have to lay down and, and lay rocks down. poking you in the shoulder blade. So they had that little bitty one. Like that big? Yep. For a while. I was long. It was like that big. I got one of those. That works for you, Bill. That don't work for me. I'm wider. <laughs> There's the part number KPXL for you guys that may want that. It's 42 and a half by 21. <clears throat> That's pretty nice. They do come in handy. Yeah, I, I, don't, I don't fit on the small ones. So that one that one's a lot better. So have you heard this year for tools for the calls, are they going to do the paint ratchets again? Yeah, I'm sure they do. Because I've had several people asking yeah, me, and, and I'm like, I don't know. In fact, don't quote me 100% on this. I can check later on and, and see, but I think they actually have them available now. Like, ask your dealer. Like, it's not something that he's going to know right off the top of his head. He'll have to check. I think I saw yesterday looking up something. I think a pink ratchet was available. Cool. So, and I know pink screwdrivers was because I had some. Yep. Yeah. So. Uh, well, that's great, man. I hope. I wish they'd just add pink as a full-time year-round color. Like I know why they do it, you know, for the tools for the calls, but. All right. So if you want to show this, um, this is the ratchet that I was telling you about. That's the quarter-inch ratchet in the perfect size that we talked about and it's gonna be the black version. So if you have the black 3 8 that is coming. It is available, it says new. Um, it's gonna be in all three colors? All three colors. Awesome. Uh, well, I wouldn't say, th yeah, it would be black and the, the green, the orange, yeah. So that's pretty cool. I, I don't think they would do just red. I think they're just showing that Maybe it is red. I don't know. We'll figure it out. Like I said, it, that's new to me. I, I don't. I know that we've got. I think work. that blue handle would look good on the black ratchet too. I know several oh, yeah. people's ask about the blue handle on the black ratchet. I think it'd be cool. Well, and I'm sure if if it keeps going like it going with everybody really liking the the blue, I'm sure they have no option but to continue doing it. I'm just looking at all the new stuff that they got coming out. There's a bunch of new stuff. A bunch of new stuff. We like the new stuff now. Right here, this will answer our question uh, on the pink ratchets. This is where I saw it at. Looks like they've got them online already. Uh, that's the three eighths and quarter. Same three eighths. Set. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's because they sold so well. Uh, and this is just, guys. I'm not showing you a secret web page. This is our Maco Tools. Uh, web page you can go on and find the same thing i find so yeah i bought that set last year you know and it come in that little foam tray that's, yeah that's nice so Good and, we're, and we're here and i don't know what it is but we're here and there's there's big big things coming uh they haven't told us they just told us what they were getting rid of i'm not going to tell you what we're getting rid of they told us what we we're getting rid of to to get new stuff to it so it's pretty exciting yeah um we'll see we like new stuff I like new stuff. I wish they would come out with a top box for the Rebel X. Boy, that has sparked some conversation. They should definitely do that. Um, That's kind of like selling a pickup, okay? Let's say you've started a brand new truck company and you got the best looking truck on the market, but you can't have aftermarket wheels on it, <laughs> you know? Yeah, I, I don't know that. The, the, there's a big back, back, back story that I got told last week on that whole debacle that I didn't know nothing about um, and don't know enough about it to tell it again. But, yeah, it's it's definitely something. Because if they would have offered a top box, I mean, there's no secret. Yeah. You would have ordered one that day when you was here at the shop. You know, cause Yeah. Y'all yeah. had a sale. Um, if I'm if I'm not mistaken, it was some kind of deal where you could have got it at a better price. Yeah, and it you was, was willing uh, to let me have the box, and we was like, okay, we're ordering it today. Yeah, it yeah. was a uh, it was a heck of a sale on Revels. Um, it just it didn't line up. I mean, it's it's not like we didn't try. I mean, yeah. we, we we did everything. I did everything that I thought I could, but e either way. Um, it just it didn't line up, but we would have definitely had a white Rebel X in there for sure. Last week I was talking about something that I wanted to show y'all. It didn't come back in in time, but I'm gonna go ahead and tell you about it. If you do a lot of soldering, 
We've got a new soldering iron. I've seen a picture of that. Yeah, it is a cordless soldering iron. I think it gets up to like 1100 degrees, just like that. I mean, it is. I sold it to one of my customers that it's going to. It's either going to be a great tool or he's going to tell me everything wrong with it. He loves it. I mean, he had the Power Probe uh, mm -hmm. propane style. He loves this one better. See, I bought the Weller uh, battery operated, you know, the recharge one, and I liked it. It got hot. Yep. but it didn't last that long well and that's what i'm waiting on him to tell me how long does it last um i mean he he wanted to buy something new he said what's well, new so that's what we tried <laughs> cool we'll be looking forward to seeing that one all right guys so y'all got to see the difference between the gear wrench and the uh matco when have you heard when the wrenches that's on sale is coming in they let me look and see what the last thing i've heard on those those went <laughs> those went a lot more some dealers have got a few in uh i heard one dealer yesterday say he's got 50 sets back ordered um, holy cow so yeah one dealer 50 sets i mean think about that i That's ordered awesome. 15 or 20 for people he ordered 50. so when they get that kind of order in that's awesome but i'm proud we took him apart because i could tell just by feeling of the ratchet and flexing the head but i mean the dead giveaway to me was when i first pulled it out of the box and it was unlocked but it was locked if that makes sense like he was in the unlocked position for a matco ratchet and it was locked so it looks like uh around they got 925 right now okay so I mean, we knew they were back order. We told people when they were when we were showing them that they were going to back order. Yeah. Um, and they did. It's still worth the wait on that. So. All right, guys. Well, thank y'all for watching. And uh, if you want some of our merchandise, right over there. Check the discount codes and stuff in the description. We got some new ones and some uh, some new codes for you guys on some new products. Like always, thanks for watching the video. Yeah, like I'm trying to figure out where I can Click get one of those. Click that subscribe button, and we will catch y'all guys next time. See ya. Uh, I got another customer. Want one.